Hey everyone, Peter from Argo with a video update to accompany our RNS or press release that we just put out, uh, which covered a bunch of different things. So this video is, might be a bit longer than a normal uh, monthly operational update video. Uh, so first, the numbers for May, uh, it was a good month. Uh, mining margin went down slightly to from 85 to 82, but obviously anything in the 80s is, is fantastic. Um, our, overall, our overall amount of Bitcoin that we mined for the month was 166 Bitcoin, uh, which was up from April uh, where we mined 163. It was a weird month for mining difficulty because it dropped going into the month and then in the middle of the month it climbed again and then significantly like over 20% and then at the end of the month on the 29th it dropped again. Um, in terms of overall revenue, so we mined uh, five and a half million pounds worth of Bitcoin in the month of May, which is roughly 7.8 million US. And we now have hold over a thousand Bitcoin in our treasury uh, or in, a, in our HODL, uh, 1,108 Bitcoin and Bitcoin equivalents in the Argo treasury right now, which is, which is fantastic. It's the most Bitcoin Argo has ever held. It's, you know, um, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's great. It, it's, a, it's a significant chunk of Bitcoin. Um, the other things that happened this month, um, so, we had an order that we had put in in January uh, for 610 petahash, um, and that order was with two different manufacturers. Unfortunately, one of those manufacturers canceled the order or had issues with the order, and the order was canceled. Um, and so uh, those machines have not arrived as they were expected to arrive this quarter. Fortunately, we have a really good relationship with Core Scientific, uh, and we're able to work with them to replace that petahash at a really competitive price and those machines are, are, are different with different machines from a different manufacturer. We like the manufacturer um, that we're getting those new machines from. Uh, they're, it's Bitmain. We've obviously worked a lot with, with Bitmain machines. This is the S19J and the S19, uh, which are a more efficient machine than we had ordered anyways, um, and a higher uh, amount of, of, uh, of terahash per machine. So the machines are gonna be a little bit later. They're gonna be you know, installed in the fall instead of installed now. Obviously, that's not a good thing, but the good news is that hash rate is still coming. We've also upgraded uh, part of that order, which was from a different manufacturer from 70 petahash to 80 petahash. Not a huge amount, but um, enough to kind of, you know, make a difference that we thought we, we should announce it to the market. Um, so all told, that 610 petahash is still coming to Argo just uh, a little bit later uh, than, than we'd expected. Another piece of news that we announced in this RNS is an update in Texas. A lot of you, a lot of you have asked what we're doing in Texas and, and how do, you know the project is going there. Um, so two pieces of news: one, we've signed the interconnection agreement in Texas, and the other is we've ordered the two main transformers, which are going to take the high voltage power down to medium voltage, and then it will go down from low voltage and, and onwards. The significance of the transformers are those are a, a long lead item. There's lots of competition in the marketplace right now to get those, so we're really pleased to have that contract signed. Uh, with a re really reputable provider um, out, of, uh, out of the US. Uh, and then on the interconnection side, uh, that's a deal that we've been working on, obviously, since we signed the deal uh, with, with DPN and the final kind of, you know, T's were crossed and I's were dotted uh, recently. And the, the, the value for the interconnection for us is that to be able to get a full interconnection to a substation the way we're getting at the Texas facility uh, is quite a feat. You have to have surveys done, you have to have easements if there's land, you know, that the power lines or the transmission lines are crossing. Fortunately, um, because we're so close, we're literally right next to the substation uh, in this particular part of Texas, we're able to just kind of um, tap right into the, in, there's only a thousand feet to the, uh, to the substation. So that is going to, the fact that that's getting done, you know, in that, in the time frame that we've just announced uh, is a real big win and uh, we're excited about that. Another piece in the RNS that we announced is our 250,000 Canadian dollar investment into WonderFi, which is a DeFi platform which is being built out by a team in Vancouver. Um, you know, we've had some conversations with them over the last month or month and a half. Uh, they brought some other really great investors in, including Kevin O'Leary, who's leaning into DeFi. We're obviously very passionate about DeFi. I've been speaking. You know about how how much I think it's going to be a big part of of the crypto ecosystem and the financial ecosystem in general. Um, so happy to be you know a strategic investor in in the project. I I will also be an advisor uh, to the company to the team. 
So this investment is just another piece of our overall uh, digital infrastructure or DeFi or Web 3.0 strategy. Um, and again, it's kind of just building out some, some more building blocks uh, along those lines and, and we're excited to be part of it. Um, the last piece is the Bitcoin Mining Council. I know a lot of you have had questions. You've been you know, send, tweeting at me and, and asking for more information. We're excited to be part of the founding team uh, and we're you know, uh, thrilled to talk to, to Elon Musk and, and uh, I've been communicating quite a bit with Michael Saylor about with the council. Um, I think the council is gonna do great things. At this point, uh, you know, the charter is, is still kind of getting fleshed out and, uh, and the pieces are still coming together but we expect the council is going to you know, have a big impact in ensuring that, that there's more transparency around Bitcoin mining uh, and, and being you know, um, a group that, that pushes the industry uh, in the right direction. Uh, obviously, energy uh, usage and energy transparency is something that I've been very outspoken about and you know, Argo's push towards renewables is something that we're going to bring to the council um, and engage in those conversations with other miners, large and small, you know the council is going to grow uh, in in members very soon, um, and yeah, we're excited to be part of it. So thanks everyone. That's the update. It's been a busy month. Always lots going on, onwards and upwards.